Hi, I'm Mike Holliday, the Investment Manager of Residential Estates, and today I'm at our brand new student development, Orm House. So Orm House was developed by a board of residences. This is the second instalment of a board of residences developments in Newcastle under Lyme. The first one, Keel House, we completed on uh, just over two and a half years ago, which I'm pleased to say has been fully tenanted since day one. Keel University has 12,000 students. Um, however, they only have accommodation for 2,500 students on the actual campus itself. Hence why the developer of board of residences are building developments such as this. As mentioned, Keel House was the first um, uh, part of his portfolio that he built. This is the second, which is 102 studio apartments. And the final instalment, which we'll go to afterwards, is One London Road, which consists of 498 studio apartments. The management company of um, Orm House is a company called Urban Student Life. They're a nationwide company, they manage Keel House, all 160 apartments there. They manage uh, abode residences, other developments such as uh, West Bar House in Sheffield, uh, the Pavilion in Leeds, and like I say, this is just another addition to them. So as an investment, these apartments were sold for around about £64,999. And as an investor for that, you got a 10% net rental guarantee for three years. So the idea of these investments, and to be honest for most uh, student departments, is that it's a completely hands-off investment. So as an investor, you're not involved in the day-to-day -day problems such as a leaky tap or, or faults that way. You basically just receive your returns quarterly in arrears um, and you're guaranteed that uh, return for, like I say, on this particular one for three years. So as I say, we started selling the apartments here around about two years ago and obviously at that point there was nothing much to see under the, the Grade 2 list of building the old school. Now investors at that point knew they weren't going to get returns for another two years until it was completed. However, the developer offered interest on their deposited funds. So once they put down the 50% on exchange of contracts, they were receiving 4% interest on that amount per month up until the completion date. So when the investors came to complete, which like I say was around about two to three weeks ago, that interest that accrued had been accounted for and deducted from their final payment. So even if you're looking at an investment and it may not be completing for one to two years time, have a look at the interest because if you get an interest during that time, it's still worth you know, far more than what your money would be earning in the bank. Okay. So here we are in one of the apartments of Orm House and I thought I'd just show you around um, just to see if, as an investor of what you get included in your apartment. As you can see, you get your double bed, you get your kitchen facilities, so you've got your electric hob, you've got your microwave oven and your fridge freezer and your sink, obviously. Uh, it comes with your ensuite, so you get your shower facilities, your toilet um, and your sink. And then other space such as your um, desk and chair. Yeah. In terms of storage, you obviously have the wardrobe and the cupboards that come with the kitchen. So when we were selling student apartments uh, three, four years ago, one of the crucial things at that point was having a television in the apartment. That has since changed, and that's from management companies telling us that it's not so much needed anymore, and what obviously students do is bring their own facilities such as iPads, laptops, phones that they watch uh, programmes on. What is more important to a student now is the speed of the internet. Obviously most people these days, they stream programmes, they download programmes, uh, so it's really important that the speed of the internet uh, is really high, of which I'm pleased to say Orm House is. So as you can see, the apartments are ready to go. There's no need for students to bring any other furniture or anything like that. Um, they'll probably bring the essentials such as pans, plates, everything like that, bed sheets. But other than that, it is ready to go um, and the students have been really impressed with it so far. So this is one of the apartments in the new build section, so block two of Orm House. What we'll do now is we'll go and have a look at the converted building, uh, the old church and see what the apartments look like in there because they're slightly different obviously with a new build they're all pretty much the same it's a much more straightforward build whereas the converted build they've had to bend around certain aspects uh, of the original grade 2 listed building
an apartment of the existing grade two listing building. So as you can see, they're slightly different to the new build section in the sense that they've kept the original features, such as the beam, you can see the original uh, windows they've had to keep as well. Um, other than that though, very similar. So you've got all your facilities included. Um, you've got your electric hob, microwave oven, fridge freezer, uh, and as you can see, your double bed and all suite. So some people might think, why would students want to uh, live away from the, the campus itself? We actually find students prefer it that way, especially in an area like Newcastle, where the university itself is sort of five minutes into the countryside. Newcastle itself has got all the shops, it's got the nightlife, the cinema, there's much more going on which students do prefer, um, whilst not being too far away from the university itself. They say it's only a five, ten minute maximum bus journey from here um, to the university. So from Orm House, which has just recently completed, to One London Road, which is currently in construction, as you can see. This is the final piece of the jigsaw, if you like, for abode residences and their student developments that we are building in the area. This whole site consists of 498 studio apartments split over five blocks. The first two blocks, are, as you can see right down the bottom there, um, we were selling them oh, roughly about 15 months ago, uh, fully sold out in about seven, eight months uh, from when we first launched it. Block three, we've just recently sold out, which consisted of 108 apartments. Block four, the developer himself is actually retaining the apartments. And block five is the final block, which we are currently promoting to investors right now which consists of 114 apartments if you are interested the apartments are priced at £69,999 and they come with the standard rental guarantee that we always offer so it's 10% net return for three years so £6,999 uh, guaranteed each year for the first three years so in terms of completion dates we're looking at blocks one two and three completing for the September intake next year and then block five, which we, as I mentioned before, we've just released, that's going to be completing for the following September. So te September 2021, which we anticipate the developer's own block, which is retaining to complete also then. So we've seen both one of our completed developments, Orm House and One London Road, which is currently in construction. As I mentioned, there are still apartments available in block five. So if you are an investor and you are interested in buying one of these apartments, do get in touch with a member of the team at Residential Estates either visit our website www.residential-estates.co.uk or call one of our sales team on 01244 34